couple things I forgot. So I'll throw this at the beginning. I called that a turkey vulture. It came right from the edge of a fire pit. I don't think it's naturally occurring, but this one here, I don't know what to think of that. But those are the two that I forgot to show, along with better look at some of this stuff. December 16th, 2021. It's been a little over a year since I switched gears from mainly metal detecting. Uh, well, strictly metal detecting. Once I found my first point, I went out with my buddy Todd. The rest was history. I haven't swung about maybe twice since. Uh, I should look for some trade silver and some other stuff. Uh, but in the fields that I found all these artifacts in, I have found a lot of colonial early stuff. 33.9, that's all devonage and pottery. All bagged up, dated, and saying where it came from. Here's my bolo cobble. This is all just, I showed this one, that one really caught my fancy the other day I found that. That's a weird one, but all this is just pretty, not all, all of it, but most of it. It's all at least something that without dropping any. It's all at least something that I thought was good enough to bring out. Just odd stuff. That was purplish. that I found a field right near a fire pit has some sort of inclusion inside it. I don't know what it is, but that thing just, she glows. I don't know what it is. It's straight quartz or what, but it blows right up like a light bulb. Uh, yeah, just tons and tons of crazy stuff in here. I don't get a lot of colorful points. Everything's pretty much gray and black. Like that. So anytime I get anything colorful, I take it. That's pretty blazing too. And that one. My colonial button. All sorts of buttons I found. That one heart stopped my heart. I thought I had a big where I was. I knew it was gonna be an old half dollar if it was. That's half dollar size. I nearly shit my pants. I was like, oh, it's wiped on this side. I was wiping the dirt off, and then I flipped it, and then I realized it's just an old colonial coat button. Sounded good too. There's some rare. You know what that is. If you know metal detecting, you know what that is. Uh, if 
you know metal detecting, you know what all these are. Some of them like that old Nardis rifle. Alright, let's go. Hey, Lady Liberty. There's a bunch. There's a really rare one in here. I can't wait. 18 or 1790. Six. There's a good button I found. War of 1812 artillery. I don't know what that is. There's another one. This button came from the same field. That all this stuff came from the same fields. It's just like I said, I didn't. Artifact hunt. I didn't, I never even accidentally came across an arrowhead or a workpiece in all the swinging of the metal detector that I did. I don't know how that's even possible. This is huge. It's heavy. Let's see what it adds to the 33. Oh, there you go. It's nearly, nearly a 20 pounder. It was right under oak tree. And there were red cords on it. I put it in two September ago. I found that right off the bat when I first started. But yeah, you look in the holes there. And there's more holes on the other side of it. I don't feel like these here. I don't know. You know what I mean? They look so perfect in the area that they're in, symmetry-wise. I mean, like this thing. Just. <laughs> I couldn't help but bring it home. I don't know. I'm not saying it's an artifact or if it was a... Well, I shouldn't be hitting them beads like that. I am saying what them beads are. Because I know. Those I don't. You know what I mean? That Why did that make it home? I don't know. Because of the symmetry. But we'll just get through them. So everyone can see them. This one's cool. This is all just sharp davidage and pieces of big broke who knows what you know what I mean just piles and piles of it. stuff is just like shattered apart they came in and smashed the shit out of everything that was left behind wood and stone I guess it's nice I oiled that so that's why it looks like that for a minute I thought a good idea would be to oil everything I found <laughs> it's not a good idea I don't want to do that that, I don't know, it's just another, I don't think that was, this is naturally occurring, I believe. Or not, I don't know. That was a cool flake that just caught my eye. This piece here is really cool. With the striations in it. I do believe that that has some illuminating characteristics as well. A little bit. Look at this guy. It's like it's really nice, smooth stuff. It's just is this like some ceremonial or is this just? And again, everything here was found in known native sites, so it's not like just some fancy rock I picked up out of uh, you know the median where the trees grow at Sam's Club. This is something. I think. Anyway, this one here's got like a kind of a wood grain to it. Those, I mean, I'm kind of deteriorating like chalky at this point. Occasionally I find these on the surface, just out in the middle of a brown cornfield. 
right near like a fire pit or something. So oh, I said, well, screw it, I'll grab them. And let's not ignore this anymore. This is my biggest sherd. I do believe sherd, not shard, is the proper terminology. Not that it matters. You can see the curve on it. There's the inside of it. That's the big one. Then there's others. That's just some random stuff. There's some really old, like, busted up blades and stuff. That is really bright orange. Surprised to find that color after I wiped it off. Uh, you can see that some of it is pretty intricate. It's almost like some twine or something got squished into it there some reeds that one's really cool all right well i'll just go right to my favorite point this is the favorite point i've ever found this is the winker this is Henry Winkler. This is the one that has the winking dude on it. Oh, look at your face. We got a mouth there, a nose, an eye. It's kind of closed and winking at you. It's one of the first points I found. And at the time, I didn't realize. Yeah, I know my hands are disgusting. I need to do a little manicure. I didn't realize how nice this was when I found out. But then, recently, it doesn't have the character that this one does. There's the patina that you're looking for when you're looking for legit shit. Because I wouldn't shit you. I know a lot of you other guys wouldn't either. But the fact remains there is a lot of guys out there that would shit you. This almost looks like it's built by the same dude. Put them winking side up, or I won't feel right. Those are just minions I found. I'm sure I throw out there. That is a Colonial Riverford half real, and so is that one. Not more than four inches into the surface of the gravel, right where the old Ford was. Just right there, waiting like a straight dime signal. Got kind of like a Chinese star action to it. It's twisted. I like that one. Uh, this one here, I obviously really like. Tips, bro. Or is that the tip? Who oh, no. knows? Yeah, I guess it's thin there. This would have. This is an arrowhead. Nearly microscopic, or to the level a microscope would achieve. It's definitely microscopic. Well, this thing here, talk about well made. If it wasn't for that, this might be my favorite.
got that graphite sheen to it. This thing here is cool. I believe that's one of my older pelters. Like I said, I haven't found a lot of older than uh, Six Nation Iroquois stuff here, but I think if I have these here, or yeah, this one here has just got, it's got an amazing tactile quality to it. I don't know what it is about this thing. It just feels so good to rub on it. I believe that's from an older culture. That's a smoker by my standards. I guess that's probably a fairly newer break. Tip break. This one here is... This would have been something. That would have been a honker. That would have been older, I guess, probably, right? That's not no Madison culture stuff, is it? It's Tombak material. Zero deterioration. That thing here's got deterioration. That's iron, but it's still in there. Some spoon handles I found from them fields. Here. Again with the buttons. Pipe tamper. Oh, this material it's just amazing I, if I could find a point made out of that I would Oh wait, I didn't even show you the beads. Shit. That's a drilled bead, stone faceted. I found that four months ago, just sitting on a pedestal of dirt after a good washing. Hard rain. She's been beat around for a while, but she's still there. That bead is or that field is Bead City. Trade beads and wampum beads. This is a Russian cobalt faceted glass drilled bead. I think they were drilled. Maybe they were poked. But there's no doubt that's what that is. Look into it. And then this is a wampum bead. You see how tiny that is. I gotta get it. I know you need a needle to poke that out. I should. Anyway, there it is. One year and some change. 